Hey everyone, Kyle Hissop here from SlapSoldOut.com and today I wanna to talk about this scary story. You live in St. Anne, Manitoba, and no, living in Manitoba is not the scary part. You decide to head to the store for some cigarettes and chocolate milk, as one does while living in Manitoba. You're excited to get back home, kick back and relax with a movie. As you round the corner to your home, you see smoke and flames billowing out of every window. Attempting to put it out is futile as the thick smoke makes it impossible to breathe. Quickly, you call 911 and warm yourself at a neighbor's house watching everything you own go up in flames. Horribly, this just happened to a guy named River Kirkpatrick on January 2nd, 2022. He lost everything except the clothes on his back. And why did this happen? The investigators told him the fire started because of aluminum wiring. Sadly, this story isn't a one-off and it happens time and time again. So today, let's talk about aluminum wiring, when it was used, why it was used, and some of the risk of having it in your home. When we talk about aluminum wiring in homes, we are talking about properties that were built from the mid 1960s to the mid 1970s. In Canada, that equates to over 450,000 homes that were wired with aluminum instead of copper. And as with every story of construction gone wrong, it begins because someone is trying to find a cheaper way to build a house. In this case, aluminum is cheaper than copper. While researching this topic, I came across Structure Tech's blog post on the same topic, and they had a very interesting point that I hadn't read anywhere else. They wanted to make it clear that there is a lot of aluminum wiring in construction that is perfectly safe. For example, the service wires coming into your homes and aluminum 240 volt circuits. However, the stuff that is unsafe was aluminum branch circuit conductors, which means wires that feed 15 and 20 amp circuits in houses. And this is what we are discussing in today's video. The problem with aluminum wiring is it expands and contracts at a high rate, which over time will lead to faulty connections. With the average home having 200 connection points, that is a lot of potential problem areas. Also, aluminum wiring oxidizes more easily than copper wiring, creating aluminum oxide, which is less conductive than copper oxide. Eventually, over time, the oxidation will also deteriorate connections and create a possible fire hazard. And this is one of the main points to remember, over time. Aside from the expanding and contracting problems of aluminum wiring, the oxidation issue takes time to intensify. As a realtor, I often hear from home sellers with aluminum wiring that they have never had a problem with it. And that statement may be completely true. However, it's a matter of time. The amount of scorched wire photos uh, on the internet from aluminum wiring is staggering, not to mention the stories, you know, similar to the guy from Manitoba who lost everything in a house fire. An important stat to remember, there is a 55% higher chance of a fire in a home wired with aluminum versus copper. How do you find out if your home has aluminum wiring? The best place to start is looking at your inspection report. Your home inspector would have written down whether or not you have aluminum wiring or a mixture of both aluminum and copper. If you can't find your report, you can hire an electrician to take a look at your panel, which will show exactly what type of wiring is in your home. If neither of those are options, you can take off an outlet faceplate and note the color of the wire attached to the terminal screws on the side. In respects to getting home insurance, there are many insurance companies who are willing to take on the added risk and provide coverage. In most cases, your premiums will be higher and they will require a written document from a professional electrician who has inspected the home and given it a clean bill of health. When buying a home with aluminum wiring, it is recommended to shop around for the best insurance coverage. Not all insurance companies are the same. Finally, what can you do if you wanna remediate the aluminum wiring in your home? Obviously, the first thought is to completely replace aluminum wiring with copper. But replacing all the wiring in your home is extremely expensive. Some estimates I read online is between $300 and $500 per outlet. Another solution that has the approval of home insurers and is deemed to make your home safe is called pigtailing. There is a system called a Lumicon Retermination Method, which is easy to install and less expensive. The repair process would include every connection point or splice involving aluminum wiring in your home. This cost can be anywhere between $85 and $200 per outlet. So there you have it, aluminum wiring in a nutshell. I hope this information was helpful. And if you need a realtor to help you buy and sell in the Fraser Valley, please give me a call. As always, if you could like and subscribe to my channel, it'd help me out a lot and I'll see y'all next time.